Hello, Counterpoint Conversations. Jeff Kieldhack here, and I have the opportunity to talk with Insigo CEO, Yuho Sarvikas. Yuho, thanks a lot for taking time in your busy uh, MWC Barcelona. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Great to see you yeah, again. Yeah. You're, you're two months into the uh, CEO role. What drew you to the position? So uh, I have to tell you, I was cheating a little bit. So before joining in CEO as the new CEO, I was uh, president for Qualcomm North America. So pretty good view on the market opportunity, which for us, is wireless broadband. I also knew Insego as a company, long history of being an innovator in wireless. So uh, the company invented MiFi, which of course was uh, revolutionary for mobile broadband. And lately doing excellent work in FWA, super talented engineering team. And uh, that's really like a great opportunity, amazing team. Why would I not do this? Yeah, excellent. Uh, I see you have a product. We saw some products in uh, Qualcomm booth and yeah, other right. booths. Uh, can you explain what was launched yeah, this week? For sure. So uh, Qualcomm announced their new modem generation, the X85, um, on Monday mm -hmm. here in Barcelona. They also announced a new Dragon Wing, which is their uh, branding yeah. for the category, mm -hmm. um, FWA platform. Mm -hmm. So our announcement then back to back with Qualcomm was really about us being the fastest OEM in the industry to complete a data call on the new platform. Like I mentioned, in Seagull as a company, we've always been leading on the latest and greatest in wireless. So uh, really the claim to fame was that we're already making a data call on the platform that was just announced. Mm -hmm. The second part of the announcement from us was uh, our products. Mm -hmm. So here's the, uh, in case you were wondering why I'm carrying this around, it's our <laughs> uh, it's our new uh, FW, uh, FWA product, the uh, FX5000. Mm -hmm which has the uh, Qualcomm SDX85 or uh, Dragon Wing, I should say, uh, chipset in. Mm -hmm. MWC, lots of talk about FWA. And speaking with the US carriers yesterday, they're very excited yeah. about FWA, yeah. smartphones, net ads are declining. The excitement is FWA. Um, also, the comment was if, if capacity starts to be an issue, they'll build out. That's how strong the business is. Uh, how do you see both short-term and maybe medium-term, the FWA business? I think my big observation is that if you look at the uh, consumer part mm -hmm. of the carrier business, you're somewhat challenged in terms of profitability on the ARPU side, right? The willingness to pay for consumer broadband is obviously less than for uh, enterprises. Mm -hmm. So our focus is more on the enterprise segment um, where the uh, economics work in a way where, to your point, the carriers will deploy to infinity mm -hmm. because you're now, now you're uh, attain, retaining or attaining a new enterprise customer. You can sell mobility on top of that and your broadband uh, profitability is higher to begin with. Mm -hmm. So uh, our strategy for enterprise is that we have a full solution stack. Our hardware, of course, uh, like I already mentioned, excellent engineering team. So uh, when it comes to hardware performance overall product, uh, far to none. But then uh, we're also uh, launching shortly our own, own Edge Router OS. So you have a full enterprise networking stack on the FWA. And then we have our Insego Connect, which is the uh, cloud manageability platform mm -hmm. for the whole stack. So what I want to do is to uh, see how, what I can do to accelerate the future of wireless broadband with particular focus um, on the business segment. And uh, to your good point, the market seems to be uh, growing very rapidly. I actually think that the business segment, when it comes to uh, wireless broadband, mm -hmm. the deployments are only starting. Mm -hmm. And we've already seen like how successful the consumer part has mm -hmm. been. Uh, advancements like uh, at 5G Advanced, which is yeah. a part of the platform that we have, you'll have even higher performance. So more and more use cases can go wireless, yeah. but then also network efficiency. Yeah. So you can deploy more with the same resource. Great. Uh, a final question, do you have target markets here um, yeah, targeting. Yeah, that's a great question. So we are going to focus on North America for now. That's not a statement on uh, on the future, but today I see the biggest opportunity, biggest deployments in the U.S. Uh, so that's where the company will be focusing on in the short and midterm. Super. Hey, good luck with this, and uh, we look forward to chatting with you again soon at the next conference, and thanks for your time. Thanks so much. Great to <laughs> see you, Jeff. Thanks for your time. Thanks.